What's up, YouTube? And what's up, you guys? I've got some new subscribers. I want to say hi to you guys. And I'm doing kind of an unscripted video, like all of mine are, honestly. Um, today about moving to Nashville. Being a guitar player in Nashville, like, what does that mean? What does it look like? What can you expect? I don't know. I just, I've been here for eight years, and I want to, like, just share some tips, insight, just, like, talk for a little while about, like, what that looks like and stuff and maybe what that might mean for you if you're thinking about moving down here maybe like a peek behind the curtain of like what life is what life isn't you know stuff like that so just improvising a little bit at the beginning check this out i've got this gnl it's a 2002 american-made gnl and man this is a cool guitar i mean it sounds good it's beep you can see back here i'm playing through this prx hdrx 20 amp and it's just freaking <laughs> I love some drop D, especially in this thing, man. It's cool. But, you know, let's jump into it. I've got, I, I've been trying to decide how I want to do videos on this channel going forward because I want to keep putting out content. And I think what's like truest to me is a lot of just this, kind of the Tom Bukovac or Guthrie Trap style. I can't play as good as them. But just throwing it up and talking to you guys. It's just the audio from my iPhone camera. And if you enjoy the content and stuff, maybe you'll just stick around just for the the nature of the stuff. But man, so moving to Nashville, what does that look like? I moved here right after college in September of 2016. Um, and, you know, I moved here, I think, thinking like my idea of what I wanted to do was I wanted to be hired by people to play guitar. I wanted to be able to make some money playing guitar. And I moved here on the premise of being like, I didn't want to say I got older and I never tried. That was my main thing. I just wanted to be able to say I tried. I at least tried, um, you know, and if it doesn't work out, that's okay. Um, and that kind of a little bit brings me to my first and main point is if you're going to try and do this, move to any town. Um, mine's Nashville. There's the cat in the background. This is low production quality, you guys, and I love it, honestly. Um, is setting your expectations, man, you know. You really got to think about, like, what do you want to get out of this and why are you um, moving to wherever you might move. It might not be Nashville, but my perspective is all going to be from, you know, the Nashville side of things. And um, the expectations really matter, you know, and trying to also be honest with yourself and maybe set reasonable expectations, you know. If you want to come down and be the guitar player for Keith Urban within the first month you're down here, you know, that that might not happen. It could. There's stories of crazy things happening like that and crazier, but, you know, I think setting some good, reasonable expectations off the bat, um, meet more musicians, getting around better musicians, you know, when you move, um, it's going to be a really big thing. You're going to come, if you come to Nashville, you're going to come down here, up here, over there, wherever you're from, and uh, everybody's going to be better than you. You know, everybody's so good here. Everybody is so good, and 
um, I tell a lot of like new people this that are thinking about moving and stuff is that like don't let that discourage you. You know that does one of two things. You're either gonna move here and you're gonna realize that everybody is really good and the pool of people you're around and the talent level has just gone way up from wherever you've come from. Um, that it's either going to discourage you and you're going to go home and be like, man, I stink. I shouldn't even play. Or it's going to encourage you to go home and practice, you know. And I really encourage you to take the second option and view it not as a sense of competition, but of, okay, how can I leverage this to get better? You know, start making friends with some of these people. Um, start, you know, that that's honestly what I did. I moved down here and I met some friends and pretty quickly I realized the friends were way better than me at guitar. I mean, way better, way ahead of where I was at. Um, I mean, I could kind of play, but I, I'm still not a shredder or crazy. Somehow I've eked out success in this world down here, though. But, you know, I befriended those people, and I just tried to jam, tried to hang. I went in a bunch of rooms where um, I was the worst musician, you know. Doesn't mean I couldn't hang and play some, but I was around a lot of people that are way better than me, and that can be really intimidating. It still is today, but, um, you know... There's the old thing, right? Like, if you're the best in the room, you're in the wrong room, you know? And with music, it really goes that way. So that goes hand in hand with managing the expectations of, like, knowing you're going to come down here and be surrounded by a lot of intense talent in all aspects. We're talking about guitar kind of specifically today because that's what I do. But, man, everybody's so good. And um, I just... I encourage you to not let that discourage you when making a move to any city, but to Nashville especially, because especially in guitar, it's a guitar to play in town, you know? Um, and so many people are so good, but you can leverage that. And that's made me way, way better over the years from trying to leverage that and just befriending people, asking questions, trying to jam, and getting in those jams or those positions where I am the worst and just trying to hang on for dear life, you know? But that's what makes you better. You know, that's really, it really is. So managing your expectations, I think is like, number one, what do you want to do? Do you, are you just looking to meet uh, better other musicians, be around a more musical co community, um, you know, get around more opportunity? That's one of the great benefits of moving is there's just so much more opportunity. You know, that's the best place in the world for it. There's so much more opportunity for music for work, um, paid or unpaid. If you just want to come down here and you already have a job you like, but you want to come down and just be able to play more, you want to be able to go out on a Tuesday evening, a Sunday evening, a Monday e any evening, or during the day and play a gig for an hour and just do it because you love it, there's a place for that here, you know. Um, the competition's high, but a lot of people are really nice and willing to help. And that kind of leads me to my second thing, um, is like once you're down here and doing it, like how do you meet those people and like how do you get kind of started? I get asked this question a lot, like my TikTok live streams and stuff. And it really is, um, when you first move down here, your job is kind of to go out, go out, meet people, talk to other musicians, introduce yourself. You know, that I'll give this is a great piece of advice is off the bat, going out and just trying to ask to sit in with people is not the way to go. A lot of people don't like that. If you're just a random person they've never met, Maybe you're great, but they don't know that, you know, and do they want to risk looking bad on a gig, even if it's just a bar gig? Um, have you come up and play? Maybe not, you know, but talk to them, to talking to the musicians on break, uh, saying, man, I love that guitar tone, like, how are you getting that? Or, you know, a lot of people are interested in talking about that. And then you can be, introduce yourself, I'm new to town, I'm just trying to meet people, you know, that's... That's really how it starts. It's just trying to meet people, going out around town. There's so much to do every night. Um, and if you come down here and you're looking to grow and be in that environment, that's definitely like a first step, like things you want to do. So manage your expectations and set your expectations, you know. Um, I just knew I wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to say I tried, which is honestly kind of a low expectation off the bat. Just moving is trying. You know, I could have moved and given up, um, and I kind of tried. And I've just kept chasing it and chasing it. Um, and it's turned out good. For you guys that are new here and just listening to me ramble in this video, um, my name's Tim Avon, and I play in a band called Lanco now, um, which is a fairly successful country band. But it's been a long road like getting to that gig, and I've played with all kinds of people. 
done all kinds of gigs and I still do I still play for other people I play around town I'm trying to get into writing and recording more um, I love this online community I've started to build on TikTok and stuff and now I'm trying to start growing that and pushing that energy into YouTube you know I love doing all kinds of stuff so that kind of brings me to my my second point is that I play guitar professionally um, and for years, I always said uh, what that means is I have just enough money each month to pay my rent from playing guitar. And that's still kind of what it means. I'm, I'm, since I've been playing with Lanco, I am doing better than that. But, um, you know, you've got to uh, multiple income streams. You know, uh, there's, there's a slim chance that quickly you will be able to play one gig and not have to do anything else ever. Um, I'm in from what the outside seems like a pretty successful position and I still have got to make other money you know I'm not making millions of dollars I'm not even making thousands and thousands of dollars you know but um, so I think like keeping that in mind and not feeling bad about sometimes with music there's this uh, there's this kind of mentality of like no plan B no plan B you know and I just don't agree with that you know I went to school for software development and I for years, I still have one software development contract that I still work on. And, uh, you know, I just, I don't think it's fair to, like, frown upon, like, having to come down here and wait tables or park cars or do whatever to make it while you hustle, you know. And even when you've perceived to be making it more, um, you're still probably going to have to do that. So it's a good thing to keep in mind that it's like, if you want to do this, you've got to hustle. It's hard to make money. Um, sadly, in the music industry, there's a lot of... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of not great people, sadly, like probably in indus any industry, but, you know, I've dealt with everything from trying to run down money uh, to people being terribly mean or inconsiderate on a gig uh, to just all kinds of stuff. Um, and that is part of it, but I, I really want to, like, focus on in saying this, and this is kind of just a rambling video, but... Um, that there's just so much opportunity down here for whatever you're looking for and not just in country music you know um there's a lot of opportunity for country and you come down and i didn't own a telecaster until i came down here now this is a gnl telecaster um but still it's still a telly right and i had to learn some of that you know that telly stuff we're in drop d today but <laughs> the sound of that right that's straight into the amp that's turned down too look here if i turn up a little huh. you know um i know i'm jumping all over the all over the place in this video but um you know, I, I also want to put this out to, like, have you guys write and ask some questions and stuff um, about, like, what it's like living in Nashville. It's um, it's hard, and there's, a, like I said, a lot of competition, and that can be very intimidating, but just don't let that get you down. If there's anything you take away from this video and you're thinking about moving, don't, when you get here, don't let the competition discourage you. Um because still, I'm in a successful position, and there's people all day long that can play way better than I can and stuff. And that brings me to another point that makes me think of something else I wanted to talk about being down here is um, once you're down here and you start playing some gigs a little bit, you start meeting people, you're playing here and there, the most important thing what's going to keep you the gigs and maintain the gigs and build your relationships is there's like a baseline level and everybody can play at that level so once you're getting the gig and there you're getting called back for the playing you're already can play it and then it's going to come down to um what we call down here the hang right what type of person are you to be around are you nice considerate um do you not get too drunk on the gig do you show up prepared um that's a big thing man um showing up prepared and having fun, but not too much fun. Um, you know, if you're getting blackout drunk on a gig all the time, which is easy to do down here in Nashville, if you're playing the bars every night, you know, you can start with a beer, and then 10 minutes into the uh, set, someone from the crowd buys you guys a round of shots. You're up there for four hours if you're doing a cover bar band thing on Broadway. You know, then someone buys you beers, then you get another beer, and it just keeps going and going and going. 
So being able to stay professional and manage that is a big thing. And in the end, you're going to get called back for gigs. Uh, way more just for what kind of person you are. Showing up, like I said, prepared. Being clean, you know. Uh, or if you're out on the road, you know, just basic hygiene stuff. Basic courteous things, you know, not being obnoxious all the time, not getting way too drunk. That's a great, easy way to get you thrown off a gig, um, you know. I can drink with Lanco right now, and um, we all do some, but if I were to show up on stage and was drunk and not able to play the parts, I mean, I'd be gone the next day, you know. You can't have that. You just can't have that, and it doesn't matter what level you're at. Um, so I think those are some things to keep in uh Keep in mind, uh, and just, yeah, I love Nashville, man. If you're thinking about moving, I really encourage you to do it. Um, also, just because based on where you live, you're just not going to get work if you're if you're not here. you got to be here. Um, the most musical opportunity in the world, pretty much. Um, and, you know, they're never going to go with someone out of town over someone in town, Um it's just not going to happen. Even if you've got a, 2 million followers on Instagram and TikTok, you know. If you can't move here and be at rehearsals and um, be able to play the last minute gig for whatever this downtown you get called for 45 minutes beforehand, uh, you know, you're just not going to get the work. So I really encourage you to move to Nashville. I know this is a rambling kind of unscripted video. And I hope you pull out like some some valuable pieces of information in that but uh i'm just kind of using this as like a thing where i want to start throwing up more videos on here and i'm not huge in like i don't know how to video edit great and all this stuff and i think i'd rather just throw up my phone and play a little bit and like talk to you guys now i love doing the teaching stuff and i want to talk more about the teaching and i'm gonna have a lot more videos out about that um but i just kind of wanted to hop on today and like I don't know, give you a little bit of backstory of like what's living in Nashville like um, and maybe some things to think about that you weren't thinking about before uh, if you don't already live down here and that's not getting discour discouraged by the competition. You got to practice a lot and then just some basic rules on how to like get gigs and then keep the gigs, you know, um, and it kind of comes down to just being a good person because once you're down here, everyone can play, you know, it's like I was saying, everybody can do it. So if, you know, if everybody can do it and one person's getting blackout drunk every gig or showing up late or doesn't learn the songs even though they're a great player and the other person's not quite as good but is not doing any of those things, going to call the other person every time. You know, if the other person can get through the gig, then why, why would you take the chance? Um, so, yeah, a little bit of rambling, some random stuff. I'm going to put this up there, see if anyone in the world cares about this. Uh, I know we've got a couple new subscribers since my last video. And when I say a couple new, I think I'm at 89 subscribers at the time of recording this video. And uh, last time I was at 22. So we're building a small community here. And I, I love it, man. But uh, in the comments, why don't you guys write me like specific questions. I'd love to make some videos like answering that. Um, my most viewed video is uh, doing a little review and talking about this SC Silver Sky, which is a killer guitar. And I want to do some more review stuff. I definitely want to do some more teaching stuff and then move that teaching stuff into some better shot with diagrams and stuff on Patreon, um, which I have plans for that coming up. I've got a really good friend that's a, a fantastic videographer that we're going to shoot some good show or some uh, good. Uh, some good, like, educational videos stuff. You know, stuff worth paying for. I don't like making people, uh, I don't know, pay and feel like they, they didn't get what they deserve. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this, right, I guess the YouTube thing is to say hit the subscribe button. Um, everyone says hit the bell. Man, no one hits the bell. Does anyone hit the bell? I've been, I've been a part of the YouTube community for so long. I subscribe to tons of people. I don't ever hit the bell. Uh, maybe some people do. But... I'm going to make a point of not saying that on this channel until I look at analytics enough and say, wow, maybe there's a reason people are saying that. But anyways, I hope you guys like that. One last time, let's check out this GNL ASAC Classic. Check out the back. And look at this natural binding on the side of it with this vintage tint neck. This is pretty cool, right?
I love that, man. Getting a little, uh, let's, let's play a little lick before we go. You know, a thing I wrote a long time ago is that we... It's kind of that kind of groove. I'll play it for you, and then I'm going to end the video. Then. Oh, we're still recording.